When I'm up in the plane, I, I think about the history of what's gone on on the ground uh, in the snowpack. Every once in a while, you get to look out the windows, and you're looking at the most spectacular mountains in the world. It's absolutely incredible. The Airborne Snow Observatory is a pair of instruments on an aircraft. They look out the bottom, and they measure the snow depth and the snow reflectivity. And the combination of that information gives us what we need to know to understand timing and the magnitude of snowmelt runoff, which is key to the water resources in the western U.S. We're now in the fourth year of drought. It's unbelievably extreme compared to anything we have on record. We're seeing where we would normally have, you know, five, six, ten feet of snow bare ground. And that's where the ASO project is so important. The plane will take off and it'll get up to high enough altitude that we can cover mountain basins by flying back and forth. While we're up there, we turn on the instruments and we make the measurements of the snow topography and the snow reflectivity, or how much sunlight is being absorbed by the, by the surface. After a few hours of flying these large mountain basins, the plane lands and we pull the data off of the plane take them over to a very heavy computing system and start crunching through those data down to the two main products of snow water equivalent and snow reflectivity. Now we're to the point where from the time the plane lands until we have the products that the water managers need and the snow hydrologists need, uh, it's less than 24 hours. And that makes it meaningful information. It means that they can take action on that information right away. Water managers in these mountains always need to know how much snowpack there is, how quickly it's coming out, and how much total there's going to be. They watch this information, they use it in their models, they use it in their decision making with respect to allocation of water. The conventional techniques for measuring the Sierra snowpack have historically been point measurements. Those are fairly sparse, even though we think we've got quite a few of them. Once a measurement spot is zero, then you're basically flying blind. You don't have that data that you need to manage sort of that final uh, amount of inflow that's coming into your reservoir. The ASO program provides that complete picture of the watershed snowpack so that even while these point measurement locations are bare, we're still getting data from the Airborne Observatory. It's amazing how quickly water managers have suddenly recognized, like, wow, this is data that I can really use. We have put together partnerships with the city of San Francisco, uh, with their Hetch Hetchy Reservoir Operation, Turlock Irrigation District, Modesto Irrigation District. All of these entities have, uh, have started making use of the data. To know that we're taking care of the most critical resource for all of those people. It's a good feeling uh, to be able to bring the technology for that purpose.